It's you. It is. And you're reading about me. And Cruella, you're kind of shot out of a cannon into the middle of 70s London. And it's orchestrated the entire time by all of these incredible songs. All right, we should put on some music or something. I love the use of music in this movie. I think that Craig Gillespie, the director, uses music to just pull you into the screen. It was really exciting to me that we were given this world to play in. I mean, 1970s London, it's a wealth of music. And I knew there would be a lot of music in this. I think we end up having like 48 songs in the range. You know, we've got Dara's Fate, Queen. Oh, it's some of the greatest tracks of all time. I mean, I arrive to The Sound of the Doors. which I'd never arrived to any cooler soundtrack. I play a lot of music while we're shooting. I'm often throwing music against these scenes, like at Liberties with Emma. And I thought, I felt like you should just maybe be singing a song here. And I just hold up Nancy Sinatra on my phone. I'm like, how about this? <laughs> and we did one take and it was great. You know, that's in the film. And on top of all of that, Florence and the Machine wrote a perfect song for the movie, Call Me Cruella. Call me crazy, call me insane. The music in this movie was an integral part of the process. Craig created something very fun, very fast-paced. It's just so much fun with Cruella's character. She's fully ingrained in this punk sensibility, and there's so much music to be had for that.